What's up, Universal Fight League fans? Bill Gibbons coming at you again with some morning runtime. Well, this morning I want to talk about a lot of you, or those of you that follow me, know that I've been training again and I'm working on getting in the fighting shape. Well, I weighed myself this morning and I weigh 157, 20, and 18 ounces, exactly what my weight is, which means, you know, I'm only five foot three. So, which means I need to lose at least 20 pounds. I mean, because 10 pounds is going to put me at 147. Have you seen 150 pound fighters in UFC? Dude, they're like six freaking feet tall, dude. What am I going to do against a guy like that? He's going to be able to be on the other side of the ring and just jab me, jab me, jab, and I'm going to be able to get close unless I pinky boo style like Mike Tyson and come up with the wild swings. And I'm not even going to be able to get close to the guy. So now with my training, uh, my goal is to lose at least, okay, 147, I mean, 130 to so 20 pounds it would be. Would be one would put me at one thirty seven. So I don't, I, you know, I don't know where I'm gonna lose twenty pounds. Maybe in my gut. That's about it. But that has been going down. But it was discouraging to see I'm I'm that heavy because that's like the heaviest I've been. But I, I'm strong, dude. I mean, I feel strong with my training now. And so, anybody got any good ideas? So besides. Back bag sweating out the water weight. Anybody got any ideas on how I can get down to a decent fighting weight where I actually get to fight somebody that's more my size? Because like I said, I'm five foot three, and every other 150, right? You know, at 100 and over, almost 160 pounds. And I look at 150 pound fighters in the UFC right now, dude, and they tower over me. So. I'm kind of reevaluating where my weight class should be. And to give you guys an update on my boxing training, uh, actually, I've still been training on my own. I didn't get into the gym like I want to because, you know, things fall apart. But I am training hard, man. I am. And I'm hoping by this summer, coming summer, I might be ready for a fight. So, I mean, I. I'm, I'm looking for an opponent right now that's willing to take me on and do an expedition match here on YouTube to help promote my YouTube channel, the Universal Fight League. And that's another reason why I'm doing all these vlogging style videos now because I said I didn't want to do a bunch of vlogs, but right now for me to put on an event or for me to hold a fight, it's everybody involved I'm kind of putting their life in danger because, you know, we got the coronavirus pandemic that's, you know, hitting back hard again. So, that another reason that makes it so hard for me to have any events. So, I haven't even been talking to any of the people I'm working with because I don't want to let anybody down anymore with everything that's going down. So, like I said... Every day I'm going to give you guys a vlog, spend some time with you guys, just shooting the breeze and telling you what's on my mind until I can get to the point where I can start doing the type of videos I want to do. And I do have regular supporters that support my channel. I salute you. I thank you. Merch is coming back out again soon because I know there's a lot of people that want hoodies and a lot of people that do want t-shirts. But I got all these people telling me that they want hoodies, they want t-shirts, but no one's willing to pre-order them. You know what I mean? And... The thing is, is because I don't have money like that to go out and spend, you know, $1,000 on a bunch of shirts, a bunch of t-shirts, and then hope I get my money back by selling them all. You know what I mean? That's just a risk I'm not willing to take because I want to keep a roof over my head. So, for anybody that does want to order Universal Fight League shirts or hoodies, uh... I'm going to start taking pre-orders here again just so I can get around about how many I need to print. But, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed in my weight right now. I, I, I hope to get down to about one, you know, 137. Be, I believe that would be lightweight because, yeah, there's no way I can hang with a 150-pounder. They're, they're twice my size, dude. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm five foot three, so I want to go with somebody at least the same height, maybe an inch or two taller, maybe an inch or two shorter, but being shorter to me, it's kind of hard, but 
Um, I feel like I owe it to all my you other YouTube people out there that sponsor me and that have helped me along the way. I feel like I owe it to them to actually show you guys what I got. Because nobody on YouTube has ever seen me fight. And yo, I can bang, bro. Telling you right now I can. But I don't claim to be the toughest guy out there. But I have a lot of knowledge of fighting up here. I've been studying fighting my whole life. Basically, my life, my hobbies have been fighting and supercross basically have been always my two loves of sports i wanted to be a supercross racer but then i if you, i don't know if you can see this right here this scar across my this scar across my my chest here i don't know if you can see it that kind of ended my my supercross career but like i said i mean i'm getting back in shape my gut is still kind of you know <laughs> kind of flabby there but I'm working on it you know I actually haven't trained it's been years since I've trained and like I said I know I told you guys I know I was getting back into training and I was going to start training at the Floyd Mayweather gym but they don't open until December so I basically been trying to get myself in as good a shape as I can before December before I start training there and I am going to record for my first day all the way through my training I want to document just so you guys can see the progression that I make and hopefully the point I would like to put across is I'm a 44 year old man that had you know what I mean and that hasn't trained in years and anybody can get back into it at least to train you know what I mean you're never too old to train you do become too old to fight but I just want to see how many I got left in me. Who knows? I have the expedition match. I might get my face mashed in and embarrass. But either way, I want to find out what happens. How many of you out there uh, would actually pay to watch me fight on YouTube? If I held some kind of event like that. And how many people are out there around my height that watch my that would actually be willing to fight me? So, I, I am looking for men fighters. I'm looking for women fighters. You know what I mean? And I'm doing a lot of networking right now until... You know, I got to do networking and I got to do vlogging until this pandemic relieves and I can actually start putting on events again. And, and until that happens, I kind of don't know what else to do but give you guys this run time and just record my life and show you what's going on in my life. Well, I'm getting ready to head out to work here right now because bills are paid, got to get paid, and I got to pay them. So, thank you for joining the Universal Fight League this morning. Please hit the subscribe button down there. Please make sure you hit the uh, like button down there. Turn post notifications on. Go ahead and leave your comment down below. Whether you like me, hate me, whatever. Because I re I do read all the comments. But if, if you're gonna put hey, if you're gonna put disrespectful ass shit on there, I'm just gonna delete you. So, I mean, it's okay to be a hater. Be it's okay to, to not like me. But I'm not gonna have no vulgar ass shit on my channel. So, that's this morning's runtime. Thank you for being subscribed to the Universal Fight League. Thank you to all my Universal Fight League soldiers out there. I appreciate you and I love you. Until the next video, peace.